Hi and welcome to the Strength in Bloom workout with me, Kirsty. Today we're working on a knee-friendly strength workout aiming to build strength in the supporting muscles around the knees and in the lower body. It is a no-impact, all-standing workout. So if that sounds like the kind of thing that you are interested in, then stay with me today. We're gonna to be working through a warm-up. We've got the main part of the session, which is around about 20 minutes, and then we've got a cool down as well. I'm gonna be using a set of weights with me in the workout today. I'm using a set of five kilos, which is my medium weight, but please use what is right for you. And I'm also gonna be using a resistance band, one of these loop resistance bands, also known as a booty band. So I'm gonna be using that in the workout today as well. If you don't have one of these, don't worry. You can still work without it. It just helps to really increase that resistance and to keep the knees in alignment where we want them to be. So let's get going with our warm up. First thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna work through some really gentle side steps. So just a tiny step to the side, back in, little step to the side, back in. Pushing the weight over into the leg that's stepping out and back in. Now I have got a little bend in the knee as we're going across, okay? We don't wanna keep everything really super tight, okay? Being nice and relaxed. Over, up, over, up, well done. So you may find that this is quite uncomfortable into the knee to begin with, just as we're warming up, then just take a little weight out of that side. So keep the weight more into the middle, okay? If you're finding that's a little painful. Okay, well done. But just please make sure that you work within your range today, okay? Not working through any kind of pain or anything like that. It's really, really important that you listen to your body as we're working through this session. Good job okay we're gonna take it up into a march on a nice big movement bringing the knees up swinging the arms okay just progressively bigger movements each time so you may start down here and then able as your body is warming up to bring those knees up a little higher foot turnover is a little quicker good so aiming to get your body ready for exercise here get prepared Make sure all your muscles are nice and warm so they're good to go for the exercises that I've got planned for you today. Well done. Keep it going. Good. Two, one, take a little rest. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on one side. We're gonna work through a little balance here. So if you need to hold on to a wall, the back of a chair, a work surface, something like that, then please feel free to do that. The first thing we're gonna do, if you need to hold on, then please do, is you're gonna bring the knee up and then just bring your foot down again. So up and down. And you can bring the knee up as high as you want to, or if you're just here, that's also fine. Now. When you are feeling stable, and if you'd like to, you can bring the knee up and then push the leg out and bring it back down. So you're doing a bit of a circle, okay. But if you're not comfortable here, then you can just keep with the knee raise, okay? So totally up to you. But if you can, then bring the knee up, kicking out and circling round, good. And as always, there are always going to be things that you can change to make this workout work for you. So if you can't at the minute do one element of this workout, take a little rest, we're going to switch sides, then don't worry. That's okay. It's something to work towards and that's all right, okay? That's totally fine by me. Let's switch to the other side then. Ready? Nice, deep, positive in-breath and raise the knee back down. So we're just starting again. Just starting with working on the balance. And then when you feel ready, if you feel ready, up, circle round. Up, circle round. And again, if you need to hold on to something, then do, but just make sure it's just a really light touch if you can, just a one finger touch. Okay, you're not gripping or holding on to something really firmly. Okay, so just really trying to focus on the balance in through the midsection, in through the core, just pushing yourself into the ground. Well done. Good. One more. And take a rest. Okay, we're gonna work on something called a hip hinge next. And this is gonna be really important when we get into the main part of the workout, which is coming really soon. So the hip hinge, I want you to just put your fingers just above your pelvic bone here. Okay, just below your belly button. So my belly button's here, and I've got my fingers just underneath. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna 
push back. So my bottom's coming back here. My knees are still um, quite straight at the minute, okay? This time I'm gonna push and I'm gonna just do a tiny little bend in the knee, okay? So this is your hip hinge position. So just push and up. Back stays nice and straight as you work through this and you might be able to start to feel the pull at the back of the legs there. So we're gonna be working to use this movement, this hip hinge through the session today. So you don't have to use the hands as soon as you've got that, that movement. Good. So we're gonna refer back to this hip hinge. So if you get stuck and you're not sure what to do, you can't remember how to find it again, just use those fingers just to push, push. Okay, well done, good job. We're gonna get started into the main part of the session. We're gonna go back into the side step and we're gonna use the hip hinge, okay? Because we've just learnt it, we're gonna stick it in. So you're gonna to come to the side and push, come back up, the other side, push, come back up. So side and side. And the reason that we're working today into using this hip hinge is because we're gonna get you to do a full range of movements Okay, but using the hip hinge to strengthen up the glutes, the hamstrings, and into the lower back, just to take away some of the tension into the knees and just build in those supporting muscles. Okay, just to increase the stability into the knee. Well done, good job. Okay, we are gonna revisit these exercises, so once you've done one, don't worry, we're gonna come back and see it again. The next thing we're gonna do is a knee lift with a leg raise. So, very similar to what we did in the warm up. If you need to hold on to something, then please do. You're gonna raise the knee up, and then you're gonna bring the leg to the side. So, knee raise, and then leg to the side. Now, you can touch the toes down at any point during this. So, here would be a natural point, here again, and over to the side, or if you're feeling really secure, really balanced, then you can keep the foot off the mat, off the floor. Good. But whatever you do, just trying to keep your upper body really nice and strong and stable as you work through this exercise. Well done. Good job. Lovely work. We are going to switch sides. Just going to give you a minute. Okay, the likelihood is you started on your really strong side. That was your most stable side. And this side is going to feel a little bit more wobbly, a little bit more wonky. But that's okay. That's just part of being human. And that's okay. So we're going to go again on the other side. So ready? Let's go. So knee raise. Foot comes down. Out to the side. Knee raise. Out to the side. And you might find that each time you can explore a little more range, or you may find that your range is your range and that's it, that you're done. There's no more range to be found. Again, totally fine. Good job. Breathing all the time, making sure you've got that constant airflow coming in. There's no panic, there's no stress. If there's something that you can't do or something that doesn't feel right, then just stop, take a pause. Good job and take a rest. Well done. Okay, we're gonna slide the band on next if you're using one, and I'm gonna put it on just above the knee. So on it goes. So just above the knee, I'm gonna stand to the side of my workspace, I've got a bit of space behind me, and I'm gonna push my back into that hip hinge position. And now from this position, I'm just gonna walk out to the side. Now I'm keeping some tension into the band, I'm gonna go back the other way. My knees are facing forward the whole time and I'm in this little hinged position here. Good. So this is working the inner and the outer thigh as well as the glutes. Okay, again, really just building up those muscles just to make sure that the knees are really supported, the hips are supported, nice and strong. Two one take a rest well done so you can wiggle that band off we'll see it again so just put it somewhere accessible but you're not going to trip over it and i'm going to lift up my medium weights now now we're going to work into a deadlift which is essentially just a hip hinge with some weights in front of our body so we're going to hold the weights 
in an overhand grasp, my palms are facing my body, and we're gonna just perform that hip hinge while keeping the hands down in front, and then come up again. Now the aim here is not to try and get the weights on the floor. The aim here is to keep the knuckles as close to the shins as possible, and just to feel that pull in the back of the legs, pushing the bottom back, keeping the feet firmly pushed into the ground, back's nice and straight, and shoulders are higher than the hips. Good, little bend in the knee, and take a rest. Really good work, well done. I'm gonna keep these weights here, just in my hand. We're gonna do some heel raises, okay? So now we're switching gears and we're working into the lower part of the leg, into the calves. So I'm just holding the weights just for some extra resistance. If you don't want to use the weights here, you don't have to. If you want to switch lighter, you can. We're just gonna come up onto the toes and then come back down onto the heels. So this one's really simple, okay? And you're just gonna try and do this. So when you're rocking backwards and forwards, so I know sometimes the tendency is to come back, forwards, rock. Try and really control that ascent and descent Heels push firmly into the ground when you get there. Well done. Leading up through the head the whole time and just let those weights feel heavy. Good job, well done. Lovely. Two, one, take a rest. Okay, we're gonna pop the weights down for a moment. We'll see them again. But we're gonna do some standing leg circles next. So this is an exercise I like to do on the mat quite often, but as this is an all standing workout today, we're gonna do it standing. So again, just using your balance, holding onto your wall if you need to. You're gonna be standing onto one leg and then you're just gonna circle out the leg in one direction. Okay, so I'm going here, I'm going clockwise. Okay, I'm leading with the heel. Hold onto the wall if you need to, or onto the back of a chair, to a work surface, whatever you need to do. And now let's switch directions. Good. So this is a real test of your balance. Even if you're holding on to something, it's really tricky because that movement away from the body is so challenging onto your core. Well done. Take a little rest. We are going to switch sides. Now you may find that that supporting leg, the one that wasn't really doing anything, is the one that felt the real strain from doing those circles. But the thing is, that supporting leg was doing an awful lot. So it's supporting your entire body while the other leg is going around doing some unpredictable movements. Are you ready to go on the other side? Let's go. So start in one direction. It doesn't matter whether you start clockwise or anti-clockwise, as long as you swap halfway through. Good job. And if you need to just have a little touchdown, then have a little touchdown. Okay, you can have a touchdown after every one if you want to. Let's switch direction. And again, if you want to hold onto the wall, as long as you're not overly gripping, just that fingertip touch, just for confidence, that's totally fine by me, okay? Good job. Lovely. Okay, take a little rest. We're gonna go back to holding onto those weights exactly like we did before with the heel raise, but this time we're gonna do a heel pedal. Okay, so this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up, drop one heel, the other knee is now bent forwards onto the tippy toes and switch over. So pedal, pedal, pedal. Okay, so this time it's a little bit more intense because you've always got something going on. Whereas the other one, you were up or you were down. So there's always something going on here. And again, if you just need to take a little rest, then you can. But really working into building up those calves, getting the feet nice and mobilized as well. Because quite often when we have knee pain, it's not actually the knee that is the problem. Sometimes it is, but it's not always. So sometimes it's the hip, sometimes it's the foot. Okay, so just building up all those areas. Take a rest, well done. Right then, okay. We are gonna go back around up to the first exercise again, those side steps with the hip hinge. So remember what we did here, we came out to the side, push out, come back in, out to the side, push out, 
Are you ready? Let's go. So this time, if you're feeling a little more warm, a little more confident, then you can push that step a little bit wider over, okay? So again, from the side, out and out. Knees are tracking forwards all the time, okay? So we're putting less strain on the knees by having the movement coming backwards instead of the movement going forwards, okay? And that's the same with any kind of lunges or anything that you do. The reverse lunge is always gonna be better on the knee than the forwards lunge. Take a rest, well done, good job. Okay, knee raise to leg lift again. So then we're gonna come to the side and then out to the other side. Okay, are you ready? Two, one, let's go. So up and out to the side. Now, if you prefer, and you, you find this one really tricky coming away, maybe you've got a problem into the hip and this feels really, really uncomfortable, then you can stay with that first one that we did where we came up and then pedaled around because that's all one plane of movement. But here, you've got two different planes of movement. You're coming up and you're coming out. So it's totally up to you, okay, if you are experiencing any kind of pain. If you're experiencing a little discomfort because those muscles are working, that's okay, okay? A little discomfort is all right. But do listen to your body because if it's more than discomfort, then please make sure you do listen to your body and just stop. Well done, take a little rest. We're gonna work onto the other side. Good job. Okay. So there are lots of exercises that we can do onto the mat for building strength into the legs as well, which will be another workout that we'll do. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. But I wanted to do an all standing workout for you guys because I know lots of you have problems getting down to the mat and I would just want these sessions to be as inclusive as possible for everybody always okay so you can pick and choose pick and choose the exercises you like and if there's something that you don't get on with that's okay okay unless you just don't like it because you don't like it <laughs> you, you still have to kind of do it then because that's how we build strength but if you don't get on with it because it hurts you can drop it out okay find something else for you to do and you can always reach out message comment take a rest well done you can um comment ask me questions i'm always really happy for you to reach out i always read the comments i will answer as soon as i can we're going to get the band on and we're going to do those crab walks are you ready push the bottom back let's go to the side walk 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 so here I'm trying to keep some tension into that band so it's never going floppy into the middle and risking falling down. So I'm keeping the band nice and tight. The movement, my, the spacing of my feet is staying even each time. I'm staying in this position each time. Good. Well done. Not long to go. Keep working. Two, one, take a rest, good job. Okay, we're gonna go back into those deadlifts. So, this is the one where we're using the hip hinge, got those weights in front of the body here, and we're just letting the weights skim down past our shins, are you ready? That hip hinge, down we go. So I'm using a little bend in the knee here, but you can do this with a completely straight leg, okay? Tiny soft knee. But if you can, get those knees bent just a little, push the bottom back, and you should feel it through the back of the legs into the hamstrings, pulling away, stretching through. Good. So supporting the knee from the back, into the glutes, strengthening up through the hips here and into the lower back. This is such a great exercise. Take a rest. Well done. Let's keep hold of those weights then. We're going to do the heel raises. And that, that exercise, the deadlift, it's not even just about the weight because you can do that exercise and put some real serious weight into it. But 
that's not what it's there for today. Today, it's there to help to strengthen. Let's go for the heel raises. Strengthen what we call the posterior chain, which is the muscles in the back of the body that are all connected. Okay. Because everything is connected, which is why I say that sometimes the knee issues are actually caused by a foot problem or a hip problem. Okay, you get all sorts of pains here, there and everywhere and they can be linked back to somewhere else in the body. I'm sure you've all had experience of that at some point or other or know someone who has because everything's linked. So we want to strengthen up as much as possible. Take a rest, really good work, amazing. Pop those weights down. We're gonna do those leg circles next, the standing leg circles. So this is quite a challenging exercise. Okay, so make sure that you're really balanced. Okay, got that real positive mindset in here today. Let's go, let's start. Whichever direction you want to go in. And I know it's really, really tempting, but try not to speed it up. Okay, because if you're just whizzing that leg around, then you're gonna push yourself off balance and you're not gonna get all the benefits from having to be really controlled. Let's switch directions. So actually having to control it, having to keep it slow, means that you get so much more quality from the movement than if you were just letting momentum just go round. Well done. Lovely. Keep it going to one, take a rest. We're gonna go to the other side. And don't worry if you have to have a little touch down. If you're thinking about what you're having for dinner and you all of a sudden just forgot to concentrate on that exact moment, that's okay. That is what, that is what being human is all about. We can't all do things perfectly all the time. Just work as hard as you can. Let's go, good job. Just really try and push yourself into the ground from your core, okay? If you're not sure what the core is, where have you been? Have you done any of my other workouts? If you're not sure, just go and jump onto any of my other core workouts, okay? I'm gonna teach you all about it, okay? But essentially, if you are a tree, let's change directions. If you're a tree, then your midsection is your trunk, okay? And your feet are the roots. And you're really using your midsection as your real core, your balance, your energy. Okay, two, one, take a rest, amazing. Okay, so we're gonna go for those heel pedals, hold onto the weights. <sighs> Are you ready for this one? This one's quite intense, isn't it? It's quite intense. Ready to get going, coming up, and then drop one heel, and then pushing over, 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 well done. And now, if you want to make this more intense, just don't drop the heel fully each time. So almost touch down or just kiss down to the mat and then up, down, up. If you need a little longer pause, then of course you can. One, two, one, two. Totally up to you. Good. Keep it going. Almost there. Two one and take your rest well done okie dokie so we're gonna get into our cool down now because that's the session over with that is how it feels to work into all of those lower body muscles to really strengthen up the knees we're gonna work into a quad stretch because despite not really using them that much the quads at the front of the body here we're just gonna make sure that we are using all of the muscles in our legs properly. So quad stretch here. We're gonna just bring the leg behind. Okay, knees are together. Push the hips forwards and feel that stretch down the front. Because if you do have knee problems, then the chances are you will benefit from this stretch. Bringing the heel as close to the bottom as you can. Well done. Now you can do this lying down but also chances are if you're doing an all standing workout, you probably don't want to lie down, but you can if you want to. Well done, good job. Let's switch to the other side. So the secret of this stretch is really keeping the knees together and pushing the hips forward. So you're not, you're not sort of out here. Knees together, hips forwards, 
hold on to something, back of the chair, anything like that, and you'll feel that stretch all the way from the hip all the way down to the knee. Well done, good job. Okay, I want you just to take a little step back and just lean into the back leg here. So staying up nice and tall, pushing that back heel into the floor. I'm not leaning over at all. There's barely any weight coming through this front leg. So I'm just standing into that back heel and I'm feeling that stretch down the back of my calf. Okay, stepping forwards. Let's switch sides. So it's just a step back. All my weight is behind, pushing that heel down into the floor. Okay, there's nothing going on here at the front. I'm not pushing over. There's no weight over that knee. It's all behind me. Okay, so hopefully you're able to maintain this position. If you need to hold on to something, a wall, whatever, just to help stretch out, then that's absolutely fine. Well done. Good. And finally, we're just gonna do an inner thigh stretch because we have worked that today. So you're just gonna come out to the side and you're just gonna push over and you're gonna feel that stretch down the inner thigh here. Now, if there's too much going through the knee here, I want you to turn the toes so they're out at 45 degrees, okay? So you feel that stretch down the inner thigh. Good, so I've got my bottom pushed back a little bit like the hinge. Coming up. And this time, I'm just gonna change over. And you can sink into it more or less, depending on how those knees are feeling. If you want a little more into the inner thigh, then you can bring the heel up as well, and then you'll just feel that little bit extra stretch into the inner thigh. Good job, well done. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed the session. I do have loads and loads and loads more workouts onto the channel, so please go and have a little look, see what you can find. Make sure that you comment, you like, and if you haven't already subscribed, please do. And check out the options for becoming part of the fitness family. You can get some exclusive little perks by joining the fitness family. You can have a look at how to join that in the session description. So thank you so much, and I will see you at the next one. Take care, bye.